ignore any gaps or anything that's trying to ripple in the reality right now. Meaning that things coming up from the past, ignore it. It is exiting this paradigm right now as we speak, but it's trying to, it's stubborn. Think of it like this, no different than the ego. So stubborn, it's trying to make its way in your next stage. Whoo, you know how it tries to make its way in this next stage? By you bringing it from the past into this present moment. I know. So if you want to ever, ever bring something out of your reality, like shift into the next stage, we call this ascension. When you shift into higher planes of existence. So when you stop focusing on the lower chakras and you shift higher in your throat, your crown, your pineal and your such and such, you know, chakras above the heart. Then this is what you start. Well, you stop doing. Okay, you stop arguing. You stop holding on to the past. You stop anger, resentment, guilt, envy. You stop yelling. You stop like I would say, you know, relying upon like medication, opiates, things like that. That is when you start to like get out of that old shifting reality. So right now you're going to be noticing things come up from your past because you're like. You're quantum leaping forward. And anytime when you quantum leap out of one reality and shift into another, you're going to notice like a lag period going. So lag period meaning that your reality has to catch up, right? So this is why it makes sure what you are intending to create, you are admin. You are like 100% because it doesn't want you to bring something that you're not supposed to bring in. So like, OK, so we're getting out of the lower forms of thoughts right now. So the old world of reality no longer exists. So things that are about poverty, uh, things that are about like, you know, war, lower that resonates in the lower at like the Satan frequency that can can't no longer exist in this next stage. And people who are still focused on that can't obviously shift into this next reality. They can't. You cannot ascend. This is why things are being brought up right now. If you notice things are being brought up in your life right now because it's giving you a choice to completely erase that from all time and space. It does no longer exist or to, um, you know, allow it to, I don't know, for you to focus on it right now or allow that to be in your present moment. So you create that into the next. Now, obviously, that comes with some, you know, it comes with some rippling. It, obviously, you won't be resonated on your higher chakras. You won't be able to you won't be sovereign. You won't be able to have like, you know, more more say so you won't be aware of your what's it called like it's less likely you're aware of the power that you hold over your own reality because the power is literally inside your body that is why when you speak something and you know something it comes to fruition so if you ever want to create something like you ever notice that Whenever you put something into the future, like I will, um, I have to create, a, I must, I need, I want to, that it never creates because it's always placing it in the future. It's never put in the present. So now, anytime you want to place something in the present, you have to create it. You have to speak it in this present moment because you're, what you speak, your tongue knows no different than the vibration that it's aligned with right now. So if you speak things in the future, obviously it happens in the future. If you speak things from the past into the present, we tend to bring those things from the past into the present. You ever notice that? Like people typically are more autopilot to do that versus bring stuff that they, you know, that they see uncreatable or that they see, see themselves not being able to have. Like typically a person would see themselves not being able to have it and see it as like way off in their future. And chances are they won't create it because they're always seeing that as in the future and never in the present moment. But when you know that you have, whenever you, you believe something or you wish to man, manifest something, you always have it in this present moment. It's never in the future. It's never in the past. It's only in this time space right now. That is how, that is why birthdays are so relevant. That's why, uh, n no matter what, when you, like in that show manifest, when you go off in different planes of dimensions, you don't age because time does not exist in nowhere in this reality. The only where time exists is in this right here. This dimensional space right now that we all, that we're conscious of and that we're experiencing right now. But now, we're no longer in this current reality right now. It's the matrix, but it's falling like as we speak. So now you're seeing the lag period. So it looks like, you know, it's the old world, but it's the new world and you're feeling the new world. You're definitely feeling it because you notice things from the past is trying to make its way into the present, but you're not allowing it to because you've learned. 
you've done the grow. I mean, you you've done the work. You've grown. So you're completely known for what it is. So like, say, for example, if you thought something in the past had power on you. No, it was just to make you who you are. And this this goes for anybody that resonates with this video. If you're watching this video, something that you may have perceived, of course, it was false to have power. Over you did not. Actually, you thought it was one way. It was the other. You thought you thought it was you those power. It was those individuals. You were just picking up because you're an electromagnetic being, so you pick up thoughts. That is the, oh man, that is the ram that we're moving into. You pick up frequencies, you pick up thoughts, you pick up, it's a form of telepathy, ELE. The moment that you come back online, you pick up waves of thoughts from others that you lock into. So if you thought about a person and you denounce them, you're locking into that person, right? Yeah, you're denouncing them, but you're locking into that individual so you can pick up their thoughts or they can pick up your thoughts. Chances are you're picking up theirs if you weren't thinking about them. If you were doing some healing and it just came up, then they're thinking about you. And you just picked up that channel of, uh, what's it called, that open airway of, of t uh, communication that was going through. Because if, it, if it's open on one end and it's receptive on your end, chances are you're gonna be more receptive to it versus uh, versus uh you not you know know it's there or you ignore it or you just blatantly just you know your uh your your ignorance is bliss meaning that something is there but you don't know okay so this is why like you have to uh you have to trigger the quantum link meaning the quantum link is you're focusing on that and wish you wish to create and that is what you're going to bring into this present moment that's a form of quantum leaping because you're bringing in that energy you're magnetizing that reality is which that you see yourself having in this present moment and that is why you will always have what you see yourself have in this present moment Whew. that's why reading reading is so crucial because the moment you read you pick up that information, therefore you coded your brain with that and then you have that this moment. It's not no later on, it's not after experience or you know months or years, it's not after that. It's only in this present moment, the one you, you picked up on that energy signature. So the moment that you're receptive to that and you lock into that, no different than coordinates, you lock into that, you bring that reality, that REM reality, REM state into this present moment right now. And that that is how you know that this thing is quantum leaping right now and that the current, well, the previous reality is shifting. So don't focus on anything that's coming from like external. So anything with like news or anything like that, speaking about fear related, false evidence, appearing real reality, like those forms of thinking, don't, don't think about that. Ignore that because that stuff doesn't exist no more. That stuff is actually being like sucked into like a, a vortex because anything that's in the lower realm, it has to be sucked in. It cannot exist in this realm of reality right now. So, if you're feeling things come up right now, you're only just meant to let it go. You're not meant to hold on to anything. Because I guarantee it won't be able to exist in your same realm of reality. Because that old has to go. Matter of fact, it did not have the power over you. You just needed to learn and grow. So, I'm I'm kind of like, uh, I'm kind of, I'm putting emphasis on something that happened like four or five years ago. Something that happened four or five years ago, my perception of it was all wrong. I thought different and now I'm learning it was opposite. So if you thought that you were in a vulnerable, it was really them. They were in a vulnerable state. I know. And they were mad at you because you're not in that state. But the thing is that you picked up their energy signature a little bit. So you're being asked to release and let go all that stuff right now. I know because you're not meant to hold on to that because that's not in your character. I know, but you're going to see right now, yo, things, yo, we're about to shift. We've been shifted and we're going to see changes in our external way faster this month. So get ready. All right, y'all. Things are happening quicker. Keep your mindset high. Keep releasing old, stale, stagnated energy. And you're going to see yourself like propel much more into like your greatness and what you're supposed to be doing here. So if you watch the video to the end, congratulations. This is everything on the other side. And you've been introduced into this whole new era. So if you receive this information, then congrats, yo. Not many people are re receptive and keen to this information. So if you are, that shows that you are meant, that you are meant for greatness. So continue being great. I'm KT, I'm out.